Okay, I'll just try that again. There we go. Okay, so this will be quick. Um, yeah, well I'll, just, I'll just do this first. It won't take long. Okay, so just to continue with the exporting of your drawings from Revit back to AutoCAD, you need to get the line weights, especially, to work in AutoCAD. And so if this isn't obvious to you, you really need to watch it because this is something you'll have to do. And if you don't understand it already, then you're going to have to put some extra time into it. Um, so most of the layer settings I can adjust if we look at, say, the layer that has been used for these walls. So first thing, how do we find out the layer? If I want to know the layer that's been used to make that line on the edge of my wall there. Yeah, that's right, just click on it. And then you'll see the layer that that line is on. So it's called A wall. So I'm going to go to layer properties and then find that layer, A wall. And I'm going to change the line, the colour. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to put the line weight back as well. So the line weight was 0.09, just so that it's the way you'll have it when you start. I'm going to change the colour to something different, just to anything. Um, and then click OK. And I should be able to see that change. Some of the things there, no, that's different. So there, I'll select it again, and you can see I've changed the colour. But it's hard to see because I've got this hatch layer that's probably getting in the way. So that, you can see, is this A wall pat layer. Oh no, all, any line on that layer should change, yep. But we've got to check another setting. So I'm just going to turn that layer off so that you can see all the lines on that wall layer have changed colour. Okay, so the colour is being controlled by the layer. That's what by layer means. So I'll just change it again just to make it clear. Okay, so I can change the colour without having to go and select every line. And that's the beauty of AutoCAD, letting the layers manage your properties rather than setting them individually to each object, which is how Illustrator and InDesign work. And that's why people don't use those to draw floor plans, even though some people I know insist that Illustrator is easier for them. Um, it's not. <laughs> so. So I've changed my colour, so now I'll go, right, I want to change the line weight of that layer as well, my A wall layer. It's 0.09. Notice how all of them are 0.09. So you'll definitely need to go and change your layer's line weights. There is no global rule. No, okay, so what you need to understand is that basic principle of light, medium and heavy. All drawings are going to have those three line weights, but you're principally thinking about light, being the things in the background, yeah. and heavy being the things that are cut in your section views and your floor plans. They're cut by your cut line. And the reason no one will ever give you a, a list of standard line weights to use is because it varies from person to person, but also it varies depending on your scale. So and also the design. Line to yep. No, you'd be expected to have different line weights. Yeah. We'd, we'd have a problem if you all had the same line weights. <laughs> Right? Because you need to work that out as you draw. So there's no, right or wrong. no, that's right. As long as you've got like heavy. You think, oh, well, no. no, that's right. So the, the key is look in the Australian standard for architectural drawing and it explains all of this. It doesn't give you line weight values, it just says light, medium, and heavy, and you need to decide what those line weights so are going to be. What's up front, light, uh, heavy yep. front, Pretty much, yep, that's right. So why do you think they don't give you exact line weight values? There's two reasons. No, people don't remember them, no? That's pop that's you're on the right track. It's when you print it out and you can see the finished line weight, then you know whether say you've got a wall like we've got here. So No, that's what I'm trying to explain. There is no no. And once you've done it you realise there is no Yep. No, 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 no. It's not by material. It's not by material. It's depending on whether it's cut or not cut. That's the basic principle. Okay. The material's irrelevant, really. So. Yes, there are specific hatch patterns. 
No, there are standard colours, but I don't use them, and I don't think you need to worry because, yeah, they, if you look up the Australian and the American and the British Institute of Architects, they all have their colour standards. You can use those if you want to, but I, I guarantee you most people don't. And you can easily change those as you go anyway in your layers. But the reason they can't give you exact line weight values, if you just can see here, this wall. My, I've set my line weight now to point, what was it, 0.5, which is not even that heavy, really. But already, especially if I zoom out a bit, this thing that's actually two lines starts to look like a single line. Yeah, because the line weight is so heavy that the, the two lines are now touching. And that's because I've zoomed out. If I zoom in, then they get further apart. And that's the same as if you have a viewport. All right, so going back to here. So we can have a viewport at one, two, well, these are crazy imperial scales, but let's just zoom in. Um, in fact, what I'll do now is switch over to the, um, the drawing that I've changed to metric, and then do the same things here, just so that it's clear. So I've got my A wall pat, I'll hide, and then my A wall layer, I'll make that 0.5, and then and then the colour, I'll just make it the same. Okay, so you can see here, these walls, they're showing with the line weight. Now, if you're wondering why the walls that I started with still haven't changed, I'm going to get to that. And that's the main reason I wanted to show you this. But to see now how those line weights are going to print, we need to be on a sheet. Because we don't know how big the line weight is until we've got something that it's relative to. And that's the page. So now, on the page, I'm going to lock my scale and zoom in. And you can see then what I mean about the line weights being too heavy. So 0.5 is probably a bit much for 1 to 200 to take. So if we go back and look at, um, well, again, 0.5, um, 1 to 200, quite heavy. But I'll leave it on that, and just so that it's clear, um, maybe I'll skip ahead to doing the other walls. So why haven't the other walls changed? This one changed. It's all to do with the properties. So notice how when I select that line, keep an eye out for the by layer setting. So the colour is by layer. It's coming from Revit that way. So if I change the colour of the layer, it changes all the objects on that layer. So the line type, whether it's dashed or dotted, that's also by layer. But the line weight, you can see, is 0.25. So if you've got a value there, it means that it's not set by the layer, it's set individually to each object there, well straight away, which is too slow for CAD drawing. So I'm going to zoom out and make sure I can see that whole drawing, select the whole thing, and then up here, I can change all of those lines to by layer, and then while I'm at it, I could potentially change all of the line types to by layer, but I'm not so worried about that because if there's a dashed line or two that have been set individually to the lines, that's probably manageable. So it's mostly the colour and the line weight you should always have set by layer. And it's a simple thing. Once you've brought it into AutoCAD from Revit to just change it all globally, it's taking a minute because it's got to go through and process and change all of these lines to by layer. But once that's done, it's done for good. I'll just give it a minute. Some things still take a bit of processing power. There is trying to, uh, I don't know, trying to move it. Let's just, sorry, undo the last step. Okay, so now, here we are. So heavy lines. So if you notice that you're not controlling the line weights when you change your layers, it's because of that setting over in properties. Yep. And then to test it out, now I'll go back and change my wall layer, maybe I'll make it 0.35, which trust me is about the heaviest you should ever have in a drawing that's 1 to 200. 0.5 is just too heavy for that scale. But then it's a judgement call. As you go down to having more detailed drawings, maybe at 1 to 5, you might even go up to say 0.7 or 0.8, because you'll have fewer lines and they'll be further apart. 
But again, the final reason that you can't have a set of fixed definite line weights is because it's going to depend on what you're drawing. Things that you design that have lots of lines everywhere in a detail can't have too many heavy lines. But if you've got a very simple detail that's only showing a rectangle or something and not much else, it's much better to have that with a very heavy line weight to get some definition. And it's almost a graphical decision. So, so again, that's why there are no fixed settings for line weights. But there is that basic principle of light, medium and heavy. But if you're not sure about when to use medium, start off just with heavy for your walls when they're cut. Things that are not cut, like this furniture here, can all be light. And then medium, maybe to start off using that, it's generally best for things like hatch patterns. So the hatch patterns read as being above the things on the floor. Right, so you can have you know, the, um, the wall when it's cut. And I'll show you a beautiful thing you can do with your hatch patterns. So you've, if you've got a hatch pattern that's coming from, uh, from Revit, you can just change that to a different pattern in uh, AutoCAD. Without having to rehatch it, and that can help. So those are the things that you'd make medium. And that way then if you've got a floor hatch that's next to a wall hatch, the floor still reads as being lower than the wall because it's got a lighter line weight. And that's it. And then it's almost a personal drawing um, setup that you can have and get a bit of an indiv individual look to your drawings by customising your line weights. And I'll actually have five or six different line weights quite often and get some real variety and depth in my drawings that way. So that's it. So that's what I wanted to show you, but it's mostly the idea of making sure that you, when you bring it in from Revit, select it all and check that the, especially the line weight setting is set to by layer, otherwise you're not going to have much fun going and selecting each line to set the line weights individually. And then also, make sure you're comfortable going in and adjusting the line weight settings then in the layer manager. So what's the other one? Apart from walls when they're being cut, what should generally have the heaviest line weight? Oh yeah, but if it's, if it's say, a floor plan cutting through above your floors, but it's cutting through things like windows and doors, what's well, going to be the really heavy line weight? Walls and then there's something that's usually a bit heavier even. The really heavy one is gl glass. Glass should be your heaviest. Yeah. 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 Glass. So here you can see I've got the line of the glass right there. That's it. Now it's part of a block, so I'll have to go and uh, explode it or edit it, but I might just explode this one and have a look at it. So that's on my glaze curtain layer, because it's come from a curtain wall. So that's the one that you'd want to try and make the heaviest, but again, if we look at that, I can probably only go to about 0.35, because if I make it any heavier, yeah, here we go, it's already doing it. Yeah, it's too close to this outer line of the frame. And that's why, again, you've got to use, it's a judgment call, you've got to use some judgment to um, set these line weights, and that's too heavy, even 0.35. Normally you want to try and make it 0.5, but it's simply too close, so maybe we have to go back to 0.25. Even then, well, you're just not going to see the detail. But that's okay, you can live with that, and at least then you've got a heavy line going around um, the outside, so you know there's glass there. I suppose in the past it was because glass was a, um, you know, an important thing to point out to people in all your drawings.